time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. Artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You've got to take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome. Oh boy, we're gonna have a swell time tonight. Hello everyone, welcome back to a boring revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the boring company. Happy 2024. Hope you all had a wonderful new year. New year, new project, Texas Underpass. A very, very interesting project. It's kind of come out of the blue, this one. Um, I did hear some rumours about it. wasn't too sure. Hearing about tunnels going underneath Giga Texas. Didn't really believe that. Didn't make a ton of sense to me. But um, this has appeared. Um, it, it turns out it, it, it's going underneath the uh, the motorway adjacent to Giga Texas and it's a fascinating project. A lot of firsts for this particular project. A lot of interesting uh, things that are going to occur that we're going to make uh, some assumptions about, but we're going to learn from. So uh, let's get into this. And make this a nice short episode. Uh, so uh, uh, we've got Joe Tagmeyer here, who who's kind of uh, uh, been flying over Giga Texas now for two and a half years, probably. Um, he's, he's made this assessment. Clear evidence of the Boring Company setting up operations at Giga Texas. Check out these images with the Boring Company logo visible. Now we need to see what they will be constructing in 2024. Stay tuned. Lots of very uh, uh, fascinating images there. Uh, we can make some pretty good assumptions based on those images, which is uh, excellent. Um, if you've already done, not already done so, please follow uh, Joe Tagmeyer's YouTube channel. I, I'll link that in below. Uh, there's another fine gentleman who does the um, flyovers for the Mexico uh, Giga Factory, Giga Mexico. And I'll put his um, YouTube channel in the description because he is almost as good as Joe. And Joe is very, very good at what he does. Um, I've included this image here because I believe this is going to be replicated uh, at Giga Texas. So if you've not been to the, the Bastrop uh, Boeing Company facility there, they constructed two tunnels underneath uh, uh, this local road here, uh, and it, it links the uh, SpaceX facility uh, in, in this kind of location here. Um, you can just see the tops of the tunnels. And... Um, Pretty simple project. They don't appear to be using those tools that much. I think in the long term, you will see vehicles uh, transgressing between these sites. There's talk about uh, Hyperloop testing. I really don't have any clue what they're going to do with that particular uh, unit because they have uh, doors to seal off the tunnel. But that's maybe uh, a conversation point for another day. Um, let's have a think about key questions that we, we need answering for this particular project. Uh, uh, just to make you aware, I'm making a lot of assumptions in this video. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this information could be incorrect. Uh, initially, I thought this was a utility tunnel, but uh, based on what I've been now told by several people, that is very likely not the case. Um, what is the route? I'm pretty confident we know what that is. How long is the tunnel? How deep is the tunnel? How many tunnels are there? We don't know. We don't have any plans. Um, we don't have any press releases from the Boeing company. I really wish they would post more things on their Twitter page um, or x.com. What is Tesla's use case for the tunnel slash tunnels? My um, prediction is that this will be used to move, tunnel, uh, move uh, vehicles uh, from one site to the other and then move them across the country, but we will see. I'll explain to you how I've come to that assumption. Are construction plans available to the public? And the answer to this one is, I have looked all over. I spent about uh, an hour and a half yesterday looking, and I was unable to find any plans, which is really disappointing. If you know where the plans are, for these particular tunnels because they go under a highway 
So surely the uh, highway authority would have looked at this in great detail. So there must be some plans. Please contact me. I will provide um, an email address here. Um, I'm looking for plans all the time, whether it's Las Vegas, whether that's uh, uh, Texas, whether that's the uh, test tunnels at Bastrop, anything you can provide me, it will be very, very useful and uh, I would be ever grateful. Um, question four, when will work commence on the tunnel? I think it will be in the next uh, three to six months, but we will see. Uh, whoops, excuse me. Uh, what is the overall cost of the project? Um really depends on these questions as well but if, if i was going to put out a guesstimate i would say in the region of 1.6 million dollars to 2.8 million dollars um, what is the overall cost uh, what will we see proof work three utilized on this project now that i can answer with 100 percent accuracy yes this will be the first project that we see uh, the Boeing Company use Proofwork 3. This will also be, most importantly, the first ever project the Boeing Company has utilised hexagonal segments. And as you know, I friggin' love hexagonal segments. It solves a multitude of problems. It gives you a couple of problems, but there are ways around those, but it fixes a lot of the problems when it comes to uh, constructing tunnels quickly um, and more efficiently because you can do two processes at the same time, which ultimately means you can go from 65 meters per day all the way up to potentially 180 meters per day, just with that one simple change. That's my email address if you wanna get in contact with me about this. Okay, so where is this tunnel likely to go? Based on where they have uh, built the compound and placed the concrete segments, I'm thinking in this location. So it'll probably be in this box here. That's my opinion. This is Giga Texas, obviously. Um, as you know, they're building a small extension here on the front of the building, and it's kind of in proximity to that. Um, Here's a zoomed in version. I predict there will be two tunnels. So you're looking at somewhere close to 2.5, 2.7 million uh, uh, dollars for both the tunnels, in my opinion. Um, the, the ground condition, it's difficult to say with the ground conditions because they're essentially tunneling through an embankment if this tunnel was more, if this tunnel was more than seventy foot deep, um, costs would be significantly reduced uh, because the uh, the local uh, uh, chalk in uh, in and around Austin is uh, kind of medium hardness. It's perfect for tunneling and has relatively few fractures in it. So, uh, because it's going through an embankment, it's going to probably be a bit more than we would usually expect. In terms of timeline. Um, you're looking anywhere sort of five five to eight weeks per tunnel um, given the, those ground conditions and then you've got to move the machine as well um, so you potentially you know it should be under six months but uh, we will have to see this I anticipate is the site where the tunnel will be uh, constructed the reason being is you've got a nice little embankment here, which is gonna save you a bit of time when you're removing the machine. Uh, you don't need to uh, construct a cutting or some kind of chamber. Um, you can launch it at the same, um, well, you can retrieve it. It, it. Inevitably, it's gonna be coming in this direction, the CBM. Um, maybe then they will launch it if they do a second tunnel in that direction. But again, it, it, it's it's hard to say if the second tunnel will be, uh, will start from this location or the other location. I would start it from this location in my opinion. Um, as you can see, this highway is around 20 to 25 feet um, above this parking lot here. So, 
um, that might be a little bit problematic for the TBM, but it's not. It, you could overcome that, so I'm, I'm not that concerned. Um, it might be that, that that is further down, but we'll see. We'll see. I will produce another video in the next six to nine weeks and, and kind of confirm what um, whether these assumptions are correct. Um, this is where the tunnel will run. As you can see here, we have our uh, tanks for our, our grout. Um, if you don't know what grout is, I mean, I've explained it in a few videos, but essentially it's, it's sand, cement, and uh, some other additives, plasticizers, that kind of thing, that is injected into the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the area behind the concrete segments, behind the tunnel shield, uh, in order to kind of stabilize the excavation, to, to stabilize the strata. Um, and, and typically you have it mixed with sand and cement in a, in a dry format, and then you, you add your additives and your water um, uh, as you're sending it into the TBM. Um, I'd love to know what the long-term plans are for this site over here. Um, I anticipate that it is for storage of vehicles. Um, I think Joel Tagmeyer said that, but uh, if you have other information, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think this tunnel is going to be used for. Let me know what you think it's going to cost. Let me know. Uh, let, let me know how how uh, how much how how much time it will take to construct this building. I believe again is either for parts or finished vehicles. Um, the actual site is is over here, so that ultimately means that the. Uh, uh, the TBM will pour poise here and then go across the highway as such. Um, as you can see, we have our hexagonal segments, which is, is a really excellent development. Um, hexagonal segments are, are really good when it comes to constructing very long straight tunnels. Uh, when it comes to uh, tunnels which have got corners, uh, that's when you encounter some problems. I have spoken in the past about using potentially uh, a bridging piece and then going back to trapezoidal segments. Um, but given that this tunnel is going to be a perfect straight line almost, um, I, I, they, they probably won't encounter many problems and that will result in a much faster uh, uh, construction process. However, they are going under a highway. The main risk there is that you might see cracks form in the highway due to subsidence. So ultimately they will probably slow it down a bit more than they would really want to. And they will probably use much more grout, which will be in these tanks here, than they would use on say a your typical job in Las Vegas. Um, but we will see, we will see. Let me know if anyone knows if this is gonna be used for vehicles. Because that's what I've heard, but um, why are they keeping them in a building? Why are they not keeping them out outside? Because they have an area here where they're going to be parking vehicles, as you can see. This area here is going to be where vehicles are going to be uh, temporarily parked and then transported uh, uh, using you know transporters like low loaders, that kind of thing, to various Tesla um you know, dealerships, service centers, whatever you want to call them, sales sites. They're technically not dealerships, are they? Um, yeah, all these videos are lifted from Joel Tagmeyer's uh, video, which I'll put in the links uh, below. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I hope you're excited about this potential project. Um, once this project is completed, uh, officials from Austin and the Texas area will ultimately come to this site and inspect the tunnels and that will give them confidence to allow the Boeing company to build further projects in their towns, cities and regions. So this is a big project for the Boeing company. It's going to be very useful for Tesla. I'm assuming that Tesla are going to pay for this tunnel, uh, which is excellent. Um, and there'll be lots and lots of fuss with this tunnel. First time it's used, used Proofwalk 3 which is a groundbreaking TBM or tunnel boring machine. 
and it'll be the first time that they use uh, hexagonal segments, which I've been banging on about for for two, three years now. And to see the Boeing company make that uh, design decision has really excited me a great deal. Okay, please like and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, and comment on the video. Tell me what you think about this tunnel, um, and hit the bell icon. Consider following me on uh, x.com or Discord or supporting me on Patreon, which is, you know, where the majority of uh, the, the kind of income for this channel comes from. My Patreons have basically paid for this entire setup, uh, this monitor, the computer, the microphone, this GoPro, the lights, um, you know, the sound insulation panels behind me. It's all due to these incredible people. And I cannot thank you enough. Hope you had a lovely 2024. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you know, if you come back again, that would be awesome. And remember, don't be boring. Take care now. Goodbye. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Hail to the king, baby. Tiger uppercut.